Now, if you're a regular on YouTube, you'll see we've done an awful lot of updates recently on uh, work we've done on the Discovery. And the rear door conversion is one of those updates. Now, we haven't filmed this being done, um, but you can see, if you go to our Facebook page, which is Rugged Guide on Facebook, you can see a series of photographs, step-by-step -step guide on how to actually do this conversion yourself. Basically, it's set up is using a hexagrip board um, into the checker plate, which allows us to screw items onto it, such as the bottle opener here. Um, it's also very easy for mounting fixings such as latches and these straps. Um, you can also mount your tools you need for a green lane trip, like this brush cutter. Um, we only keep this in the vehicle when we're on a, a green lane trip because by law you have to have reasonable use um, to be able to carry something like this in your vehicle, so otherwise it stays at home. And then we've got the two shelving units here, and this is the main shelving unit which has got an aluminium splashback and then it's got grip tape here which is uh, basically the grip tape from Ikea, it's on a roll like a masking tape and it's designed to make your, give your wooden steps in your house a bit of grip on the edge. We've used it on here to add more grip for our stove and our cups. So we've got a large uh, shelf here for our um, stove and then we've got a smaller uh, shelf here for our cups. Um, which works really well. What you'll also notice behind there we've actually got a little recess um, that we've actually put a fire extinguisher into. It's quite large, you can fit what you like in there. You might want to put your tea and coffee in there to make it really quick and easy to make a brew. Finally, behind me you'll see here we've got a water delivery system. Now we've used the Lifesaver um, hand pressurised uh, water purification jerry can here and this will deliver water through this pipe um, to the back. Now it's uh, just being tested at the moment, it's not quite powerful enough to give us a good delivery of water but it is a viable um, option if you don't want to have something connected to your vehicle that's battery operated that's going to drain your battery like an electric pump. So we're just testing that out at the moment. The other thing we want to show you, uh, we can't do it right now but if you come back in a few weeks you'll see we've actually mounted this strip on the top here which allows us to fit an entire canopy, an awning, a camp wall awning out the back. And what that does is that gives us a huge footprint when we're camping. It'll come right out the back, over to both sides. So if it's raining and we want to set up camp, we've got a good uh, cooking and preparation area here under the vehicle. So come back, have a look in a few weeks, and we'll see you soon.